Maybe you've seen how to bind data using the expression inside WeWeb, and now you want to use the JavaScript. Binding, as it is more powerful, giving you more possibilities to bind data to. So let's show you this with a really simple example. Here, I don't want the number four. I want, inside parentheses, the number of tickets currently displayed inside my app. How to do this? I mean, I can obviously maybe make a sum inside Airtable, but that wouldn't make sense. And I mean, I don't have this data already available. So here I have all my tickets, but I, I have the, the sum, but I don't have it inside the data. And also I want this parentheses. So to do this, I will go on text and bind it and then select JavaScript. Inside JavaScript, you've got here all the parameters that you can use that we made already available for you, be it part of the collections you brought to WeWeb, so like the tickets I currently have with all kinds of data inside it. Also the variables that you will see maybe in another tutorial or you have you seen already, the function is the same. WeWeb functions are some functions that we give uh, for you to play with our API. Plugins are the current plugins you're using. So for example, Airtable, and we also made functions to help you uh, play with them. And context is the current context given the, um, the layout of the app. So really useful when you're, for example, you, you're in a um, repeated, um, let's say for example, I'm in this uh, ticket especially, and I want its index. So I will take it from the context.layout.repeatIndex to use it um, inside the JavaScript. But let's get back to our tickets. So every binding is indeed a function. So the first thing you have to do is to write return because we want, we'll, we web will take the value you return and use it to display on the page. And for example, I can do stuff like return four. So the current value is four, but I mean, that's basically the same as using expression. It has no, like it's not an intelligent binding. What I can do though, is that in my collections, tickets, I have the data and all the data are the current tickets that are coming from my, my Airtable base. Could be also your SQL database or I mean your Google spreadsheets. And because it's JavaScript, I can do stuff like, okay, I go inside collections, inside tickets, inside data. And then you see that I have four objects. But I mean, if I have four objects, I have the answer. I want to get the length of this array because it's the current number of tickets I have inside my app. But still, I want parentheses. So how to do so? I could use string interpolation in JavaScript to put parentheses around my, my text by using backticks, dollar sign, and using the value of the collection. And that's it. If I were to remove, for example, tickets inside my Airtable base or add them, this sum would change because it's the length of the current collection. So the length would change dynamically. And that's it. That's how you bind complex data using JavaScript.